So, hello guys, it is me, and today we, uh, we are going to be making a sinking tool, a sinking tool for the pool. I've made a whole bunch of these because now I'm obsessed with them. Um, uh, and the cool part about mine is they have little buoys so that you can easily grab it. But if you can't quite swim down to the deep, like in the deep end, down to grab stuff from the bottom of the pool, you could just either wrap your foot around it, you could wrap your fingers around it, you could grab the string, you could grab the buoy. Well, the first one I made it was a bottle with corks. It's tied to a shoelace. It's uh, tied to the bottle. Well, then the second one I made it was, was um well it broke I forget what it was. it was. But then the third one I made it was two cocks hooks and a uh, string with Lego. And the third one I made was Lego, felt, and marbles. And I'm just so excited about this, but it, this is not a, this is not a uh, collab, but uh, so, so I made this from Kip K. It's, uh, it's the pill bottle little uh, airsoft gun, but I made a giant one with a giant pill bottle. So, yeah, go check him out. He's really cool, he does lots of cool stuff. But, anyways, let's get back on topic. So, you're going to need, he'd, he'd, uh, any pill bottle. I like these, these ones. It's not as big as this, yes, but it's bigger than normal. Uh, I got, actually got this from my nanny. Her dogs keep getting sick. Okay, so... She, they, the vet gives her these huge bottles. So I'll be right back. I just gotta go grab one thing. Okay, and y then you also need your drill. And I did this. This is totally optional, but I drilled a whole bunch of holes all over. Hold on, my cookies are done. Yes, I'm baking cookies. Okay, the cookies are all baked, but anyways, so, yeah, we're going to do this. Make sure you drill two holes in the lid. This little piece might pop out if you're using a pill bottle, but that's fine. Just drill holes. If it's not perfect, who cares? I did, Mine aren't perfect, as you can see. A little there, a little there. Or, but, and then it just pops right back in. And, but that's only if you, like, you want the childproof lock so that it doesn't come off too easy. Yes, I could open them. But anyways, and then you can see I already fed my shoelace through here. And if it has frayed edges, it just take some hot glue, make sure it dries, like, make sure it cools. But uh, put a little bit on there, right, wait a couple seconds, and then start going like this with it. You, your fingers might get hot gluey, but it's so easy to peel off. And then do what I did after. Take some extra Lego pieces, hot glue, them, hot glue them together. You could do more or less than I did. Probably more. You'd probably want to do more because mine's pretty big, both of these. And then you want to drill holes of them with a with either the same drill bit or I used a bigger one. And then, and so you guys could already see I already fed one piece through. But I wanted to show you guys what it would be like. So if you... If you used a big, like a way bigger one than your shoelace, you're perfectly fine. It goes through easily. And then the cool thing is, if it's not perfectly centered, you, uh, with mine I use such a big one that I have to do two knots. That's uh, uh I'm gonna do three. But uh, the other one I just did two. But if it's not perfectly centered, like look at this is not centered. Like look how much extra slack is in the one end. Check out all you have to do. Pull a little bit there. Pull it on the end with not a, not as much slack. Then just keep doing it again and again until. Or if you really wanted to, you could just do that. But back to the pill bottle. Hold on, I just got to finish doing this one thing. Uh, okay, back to the pill bottle. So you got this, you want to go outside, I already did this, as you guys know, to make sure it worked, but you want to go out to the yard or anything, do not use dirt if you drilled holes, use rocks. Uh, just throw them in, I already know how many fit in mine, 
Uh, you could use big or small rocks. I wanted to use big. Dang it. There, there must have been a certain way that I threw them in. Okay, so I threw them in biggest to smallest sort of thing. Okay, but don't know if this is in the middle of the screen. I'm just kind of shoving them all in. Uh, so... There we go. And then, it, the first time I did it, it was so hard to close. But this time it was so easy. But yeah, it might be tricky, but you want as many rocks as you could possibly fit. Just make sure they don't go through the holes. I just used this drill bit. But I used a way bigger one for this. For the Lego. But I'm surprised how, how big this battery is. Like, I used it for so many different projects. I used it for this as well. Oh. It's a little air tank for under the water. Just this floats on top. I go under the water with this in my mouth like this. And yeah, it's perfect. I just broke it, so I have to fix it. But then I also made this one for my brother. I originally had it on a backpack, like half a backpack, but then it, mine broke. So yeah, and then he's just gonna tie his to his arm. Arm. Um, uh, but he decided he's just going to have it float like me. He, but, yeah, his is a bit different than mouthpiece. Mm. Uh, my mouth isn't as big as his. And you guys probably know why. Because he's gay. Okay, but anyways. His, um. Oh, shoot, I missed a rock. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I missed the one. Right there. I missed it. So... Gotta put that in. Okay, now my bathtub's not too full, but I just filled it up because I'm testing a bunch of different things. Things. And check it out. That sinks, and then see? It, even, like, it'll take in some water, but that's good. You want that. And make sure you throw it by this. Make sure you throw it by the jar. Well, not jar, but make sure you throw it by that. But this piece will just float right above here, right on the, uh, like not on the surface, depends how deep it is, but it'll float right about uh, where, or it'll float under the water, so then you can just easily shoot. So then, hold on, let me set you guys up. So then you can just grab it easily and take it up, or with the way I did it, you could easily just grab it like that, take it up. But, yeah, and it's really easy, cool, and you could say you made it yourself. So, there you go. And then if you need to drain it, just go like this. Kind of shake it a bit. And then quickly bring it over to a towel. Lay it on its side. It gets uh, <laughs> through the holes because there's more holes on the side. It but, oh yeah, by the way, I also put holes in the bottom of it. But yeah, I could do a lot more stuff now that I actually have a drill. So, yeah, so I made this, and I thought that was pretty cool, and I made a whole bunch of different stuff. So, please leave a like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. Only eight minutes today. Sorry, but please leave a like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, see ya. Love you all.